you took the company public, huge, very successful IPO. Tell me about that moment and what that felt like. It was actually just a fabulous day and a fabulous moment and a critical milestone for the company. Um, it raised our visibility, gave us the capital, and um, I feel good about being a public company. At the high, the company has been worth two and a half billion dollars. Um, CNBC did a big investigation about authentication at the company, and they say that they found hundreds of items that were faked. What went wrong there? We are the only company that works incredibly hard to keep fakes off the market. We have great processes, incredible sophistication, a great QC team, and but it's still mostly human driven. We use AI and technology uh, mostly to get rid of uh, bad consumers. And also note, you know, what happens, especially during the holidays, fakes filter in through the system. For our gemologists, they have a lot more equipment. Some of it's highly proprietary. That one is um, very, very, very sophisticated. But when you're looking at a handbag, we have people take, you know, looking inside, checking serial numbers. So do we make mistakes? Sure. Do so, we make a lot of mistakes? No. In October, we processed over 420,000 items. We actually had 20 items out of those that were suspect. I want to read the statement that you put out. You said, the real real has the most rigorous authentication process in the marketplace. We are the only resale company in the world that authenticates every single item. There is no other resale company doing more to remove fakes from the market every day and put counterfeiters out of business. How many fake items do you catch and how many fake items do you think you miss? Well, we know in October we probably missed 20. But here's the most important thing for a consumer. You get a free return. We re-authenticate. We're not trying, I mean, our goal is to keep fakes off the market. Amazon reported in their last um, earnings we are we have fakes that may hurt our business. It was stated as a risk to their business. That's not us. What we do is we try to keep them off. They're like obviously comfortable with keeping counterfeits on. That's not us. Our goal is we we take responsibility for our platform. Yeah, so how is Amazon's approach different? I think you'd have to ask them. They come across as agnostic. Um, because there are counterfeits up there right now. The key for us is to really keep that trust going. We have a great customer service department. We're here to keep counterfeiters off the market. How does technology help you identify a real Chanel bag or that a piece of jewelry is truly authentic? It's easier on the jewelry because um, we have so many machines that measure alloy content, for example, uh, measure, and you, this is where a gemologist should be here, talking about the refraction of the colors, um, understanding the origin of the gemstone. I usually wear a lot of Cartier bracelets. We know the alloy content. We know how they cut diamonds. You can look at the bezel. We have magnifying equipment and also refraction. So we have logs of all of this. So we can go through and it's, and, and you can say in, right away, fake, fake, fake. And what about the bags? I've been to China, I've seen the markets, I've seen the fake bags. Some of the fake bags look and feel really good. I'm not gonna say it's not easy. It's, it's very, very hard. It's very hard. We have skilled people, we have a lot of data. We use scales, we use uh, black light. We have a lot of techniques that we use regularly and then all that knowledge is stored and shared. But look, it is hard. I mean, counterfeiters get smarter. We have to get smarter. The jobs have changed in our operations center and they will change, but it's also because we're automating what we can automate to free up more time for uh, deeper authentication.